Hey gang, Sparky, how you doing today? Now, just from the previous clip, um, I've seen water in Conduit before, but never running water. Story behind it is I was working on a property and I walked by uh, the service section for the property. And I noticed water coming out of the back of it, so I opened it up and started noticing rust all over the place. And there are certain areas that water was actually dripping off, um, like the breaker and the fuses, the switches and stuff like that. So it was uh, it was a pretty scary situation. I saw it, and uh, there was a bunch of condensation up on the top, up there. And this is just a photo of in between the, the two switches. There are a couple 400 amp switches. There's water in there. And I I did open it up to look at it and kind of take a look around and see what uh, see what the urgency of it was and it probably should have been shut down but uh, we took a look at it and a few people decided well let's leave it up and we'll get it fixed find out what the problem is but you can see like drops of water coming down had fallen down and hit the bottom of the, the service there here's the bottom of this unit there's a pit under there all the wiring comes in uh, through the sides of this pit and that's about three foot deep from the from the top of the concrete down to the bottom of the pit there so there's a couple inches of water there this is our utility feeds coming in in this area there and you see a two by four down there it's just barely up to the top of the two by four so inch and a half two inches deep this is the other end where all the feeders to the property comes in. What was happening is the water was coming in through one of the conduits. It'd get to a certain level and then it would flow back out. And one morning I opened it up, pulled the dead front out, opened it up, and saw uh, steam coming out of here. And I knew we had a hot water line break on the property somewhere. So there's another utility side. This is a uh, picture of what's the aftermath of all this water being built up condensation dripping down so what we did is we hired out a locator we saw the water coming out of the service section so we hired a locator find electrical conduits and we didn't know which one of these actually had the the hot water in it we just knew it was hot water so I broke out one of those uh, little thermometers the infrared thermometers and these were around like 74 degrees something like that these three and this one here was uh, about 85 to 87 degrees so we knew this is where the water was so I snapped that coupling and lo and behold the water started coming out of it so we started digging it up now this is one end the the service was on the back side of this building this is our first hole and that's where that last picture was where the water was bubbling up out of it the plumbers drilled holes all the way down through here and they stuck a rod down in there and they were uh, checking for moisture as well as heat and they found it right here the service that it was feeding the distribution board that it was feeding was right here so they opened it up and started digging and they got down I think that's probably two and a half almost three foot deep well that copper line underneath there got a hole in it and it's just common for this property the water runs through it it's it's old piping well I guess the, it had settled a little bit and just kinda of snapped this coupling and the water was going path of least resistance started filling into that conduit and that's what um, the opening video of the water running um, what it was doing was filling up and running down about 175 feet to the other end and uh, filling up that service section so it's been uh, uh, quite a interesting project to try and find out where all this was coming from and how it was happening and since then uh, once we got the water leak fixed let it dry out the service is dried up and everything's back on track now but um, anyway just wanted to pass this one on to you another one of those oddities that I run into so Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. It's Sparky. We'll talk at you later. Bye.